on the the kick return, was it a situation where, where like one or two things happened wrong, or was it several things that that went wrong? Uh, you know, I would say this on the kick return. First of all, I would give credit to to Virginia Tech for their execution, how they uh, schemed it up. I thought they did a good job, and then they executed it well. But uh, from our perspective, um, you know, a couple things went into it you know, that normally, at any return like that, normally do. Um, you know, for one, we do. We've been really good on on kick cover, and and. W Part of that reason we are is we kind of tweak it from week to week, and you know it's one of those things where in hindsight, looking back at it, the tweak that that uh, we made this past week, I don't know that I would do it again, uh, given the the fact that they ran that field return, um, and then then we had we had some guys that that were had a chance to be in position to make a play and, and we didn't make it. But all in all, you know, obviously, you know, start with crediting them for, for doing a good job. But um, there's some things that we need to clean up on our end and, and it starts with me and uh, making sure that, that we put our, ourselves in the best positions possible to be successful in those. Defensive end play as a whole, Jared broke through statistically speaking. Patrick piled on a good game on top, but Byron also seems to be playing good ball. And Gilbert, was that the best game he's played in his time here? Yeah, I thought that was the best game Gilbert has played since, since he's been here. And you know, I was really pleased with, with really how all four guys played. You, you said it. Um, you know, Jared was able to make some impact plays. And I think that was, was good uh, for him and, and for all of us. But you know, I know he also felt some in, internal pressure um, probably to, to get that production, get those sacks. Um, and, and I'm glad for him that, that he was able to do that. Um, and now I hope that he can kind of take a deep breath and, and focus going forward because you know, it's, it's one of those things where I think at the end of the year, statistically, he's going to be right where he wants to be. Um, I would assume that that's probably not going to be the last time we see him uh, have, have production like that. And, um, you know, it's, it's all going to shake itself out. And I just want him to continue to play hard and, and um, you know, do the things that he have, has been doing leading up into the game. I thought Pat played well. Um, Pat, play, Pat plays really hard. Um, and, and sometimes, um, you know, I've said this in here before, he does things that, that go unnoticed or maybe unseen, but the way he plays within the defense is, is really critical for us. And, and um, you know, I thought Byron probably played one of his best all-around games since he's been here. So uh, I was pleased with, with how those guys played, and, and we need to build on that and, and get better going forward. On that um, two-point play, obviously you guys practice that a lot. Um, what was the thought of going for doing that right there in that situation? You know, it, it's something we always have um, a gate ready. Um, and typically, if we score first and it's early in the game, it, it might be something that we show. Sometimes coach wants to run it. Sometimes we shift back to our our. Uh, our normal PAT, um, but in, in this case, just the look that was presented, um, you know, it's it's really coach's final decision. You know, he makes the call on the field whether we're going to run it or not run it. Uh, the look was there that we wanted, and we went ahead and taken took advantage of it. Um, and those are things that that are, might be subtle, but that we like to do within the program from week to week is to continue to make people work work at everything. Uh, if we score if we score a touchdown, it's not the assumption that it's just going to be the the traditional PAT, but we might have something else. Um, and, and we want to force our opponents to have to work hard to defend us in all ways. Uh, Keon, it was good. I'm sure it was good to see him kind of get loose a little bit on a return. Um, it still seems like some balls are, are landing. Is that because the way punters are punting? Is that something they're doing intentionally, or does he need to be more aggressive? Uh, you know, I think I think. Uh, I really thought his decision making this past game was really pretty good. Um, you know, we have going into a game based on punters' averages and hang time and how far they they've uh, been kicking the ball going into it. We have certain landmarks that we align him on. And one thing that that we talk about with him every week is we want you to field all kicks. But if you don't feel like you can get there, don't try to be be a hero in the moment and and make a poor decision. Um, and, and there's a lot of trust that is that goes from coach to player and then also player to coach in terms of I trust Keon. You know, I, I think he's going to make what he feels like is the best decision in the moment. And if there's times we feel like we need to coach him on, hey, next time that shows up, this is what we'd like to do. But, you know, I really thought his decision making in the game the other day was really, really good. And I have a lot of trust, faith and confidence in, in um, you know, how he handles himself back there.
it's almost uh, understood at this point, or maybe even taken for granted a little bit, but Master Mono's having, a, it seems like, an incredible year. He's fifth in the country in punting. He had some bombs in this one, too. Um, I, I guess just, I don't know, man, the development of what he was two or three years ago to now? Yeah, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, first of all, I think our coverage has been, been terrific, and um, all of that goes hand in hand. But, um, you know, C.J. Campbell made a huge play the other day. Uh, on a punt cover, but um, you know the thing I'm so excited about is you know you look at you know I try not to get caught up in the st statistics, especially this this time of year. Um, but uh, for us to be able to lead the ACC right now in net punting is is really really good for us, and and for him to have the the national accolades that he has, um, you know I think I think obviously that that speaks to how well he's he's uh, hitting the ball. But I think it just shows that he's put a lot of hard work in. Um, he's grown and matured, and I think he's just more comfortable with with everything we're asking him to do. But um, he, he's really hitting the ball well. I think he's confident in what he's doing. Uh, even our conversations on the sideline are a lot uh, more um, next level in terms of, of just his understanding of, of how he fits within the game. Um, so I, I just think the experience and the confidence and the gains he's made in the weight room, all that together have, have combined into him uh, really, really turning into a weapon for us. Uh, excuse me, uh, Coach uh, Fuller mentioned that Blake has made some plays in the kicking game and, and, and impressed. You get a chance a lot of times to see freshmen maybe on the field more than some of the other positions. Um, what have you seen from that group? I know KJ's played some and, and some of the other guys as well. Yeah, you know, I think it's a very talented uh, freshman class. Um, and, and those guys, for us to be what we want to be, I think we're going to have to feel their impact, um, especially on special teams. Blake has done a really good job, especially in his kick cover. He's very natural, um, which which is great for a linebacker. Obviously, that, that he has a great sense and feel uh, in terms of how to defeat the blocks that, that he's getting, and then how to track the ball. Um, you know, so I I think uh, I think he and plus he's such a so athletic. He runs really really well. So um, you know, I think he's he's a really good player for us on that unit. Um, KJ Kirkland, I think, can play a big role for us, especially on pump pressure. KJ's really smart, and uh, you know, we put a lot on him in the in the role that he plays on our pump pressure unit to be a guy that has to make some de decisions and checks, and uh, he's handled all that really really well. Conrad Hussey's been out there for us, um, and, and like I said, we have we have a talented group of young players, and as the season goes on, we're going to need to feel their impact more and more, and especially on the special teams units. Okay. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thanks.